about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Tackle at the 28. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 49. it to the 41. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. the 40-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Change of quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've gotta be ready to trust this guy. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 11. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. From the 11-yard line, first down. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. Right down, right around the two-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's the ninth play of the drive. Defense and their short yardage package. And he's stopped behind the line. So we're looking at another third down here. Swings it out there incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Room around the corner. And they're in. Touchdown. Back 
just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 72 yard drive, and they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And down he goes at the 27. The Hurricanes have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team team effort to be able to win this game on the road. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 29. Complete, he's got room. Tackle around the 35-yard line. around the 49-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 50. frustrated there they did everything they got to the quarterback in fact it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack but somehow he's able to throw the ball away third down now and they need to get it inside the 41 and they make the stop at the 44 yard line nice gain but not enough for the first down yeah that's a nice play there they did everything right except get enough yards for the first down He's met immediately. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Going long. Can't pull it in. Number 86. Intended receiver on the way. That makes it third and 11. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. An exciting first quarter comes to an end.
The score here in Austin is the Sharks seven, the Hurricanes nothing. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Throws in a hurry. Interception. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 26. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First and 10. Ball on the 26. rid of this one. Well, the defender was all over him on that play. Here's the call by the referee. Defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. Around the 28 yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. Good outside run there. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. And he's hit immediately. First, and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Laterals back, and he's got space. He's in for the touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes his way to about the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's taken down at the 49. Oh, 
They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. So the sack makes this third and very long. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He airs it out. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. Nice play. Good job here by the quarterback is staying with his receiver. And the receiver stays with the route because he knows his quarterback has the arm strength to get it there. on the draw from the 16-yard line. Second down. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. And this play is number eight on the drive. Cavalry's coming, and he's level at the 22-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Kirk, you and I have been around this coach for a long time. I don't care what their lead is going to the locker room. It's not going to be a pretty sight in there. Well, you'd like to think, boy, we've got a lead. Let's pat each other on the back. But you're right. With this type of coach, he's going to almost make you feel worse for having a lead than if you were down by, by a few scores. So he'll get their attention. Let's see if it helps them in the second half. Second and ten. Ball on the 27. He's out of bounds at the 29. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Boy, I thought he was going to pick it up. That was a solid effort, but the defense held him back. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. <laughs> the Hurricanes struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game, and sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet and see how it can do. They gotta get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. 
one touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. He's going to go for the home run. Almost intercepted. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. Though he didn't make the catch like that. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 37. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. This one's going deep to the end zone. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. He gets to about the 31-yard line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The score here at Texas Memorial Stadium is the Sharks 14, the Hurricanes 3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But... But <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. They got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that, you, that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Taken from the 10. And he's tackled at the 25. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he is drilled at the 44. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. That's a great tackle at the 43. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 43. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. We 
Quick pass, intercepted. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 28. Tackled at the 31 yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Mike, four. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 48 yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. Second down and about two yards to go. Here he goes. And down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Second down. It was a seven-play, 72-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. The score now, 21-3. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He fights forward to about the 29. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Come out on an empty backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Makes the PAT. And it 
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Tackle at the 31. The Hurricanes coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plan's coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. And he's taken down at the 40. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Going deep, lays it up there. Almost picked off. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the run. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack with these guys. And right now, these wide receivers really have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the ball. It's second and 13. Ball on the 17-yard line. Just throws this one away. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. The score here in Austin is the Sharks, 21, the Hurricanes, 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Oh, excellent punt. Take a hit. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Taken down right around the 34. Number six with the tackle at the 34 yard line. That brings up third and 10. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Looking for the corner. Fielded at the 19. Gets out to about the 31. 
The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Brought down right around the 36 yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Good open field tackle. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Touchdown, big play. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Less than three minutes in the game. And they won't get the two. A four-play, 69-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. So the score now, 21-16. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Under pressure. Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's got it with room to run. They gained five yards there. Anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. Pass complete and taken down immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here's an opening. Gets out to around the 45. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 44-yard line, second down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. This is the eighth play of this drive. Two tight, two tight. Four down, four down. Mike, four. 
And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Hurricanes have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can build to the future around his abilities for sure.